Beer Fridge Fitness, episode one, with your boy Mark here, and I'm joined today with a good friend of mine, Dan, from Spiral Health and Fitness in Livingston. Hello. So, how you doing, my man? I'm good, good. And how are you, Mark? I'm good, buddy. I'm good. So, a little introduction, just before we kind of get going here. Um, we are obviously a beer podcast, um, and sort of, uh, I'm a huge kind of fitness fanatic most of the time um but also <laughs> yes you are sometimes yeah um but obviously i'm a big beer fan too so we've been kind of shooting the shit a little bit about how we can tie both these uh things together and we came up with the beer fridge fitness so obviously this will fall under our um the network that we're under now which is the beer fridge network um and you can contact us via a multitude of different areas and we're going to be talking to Dan's hopefully going to sign up and be a big part of the podcast so we're going to be doing some gym work and we're going to be doing some again just shooting the shit about everything fitness and yeah we'll get stuck in sound all right yeah that sounds really good come on so before we really dive in I'll just um obviously please get in touch with the the beer fridge network via instagram facebook twitter Obviously, all these um, podcasts will be going live at some point through YouTube and, of course, through our website, the beerfridgenetwork.com. Yeah, we added our first um, other podcast this week, so shout out to um, Ross and Tom there. Um, so check out our website to go and see their podcast too. What number is it now? Podcasts. Yeah. Uh, we done 37 or 38. Okay. Yeah, you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> putting me on the spot. Uh, okay. So, and the guys over there, uh, um, uh, Beer Dominican, uh, they're on episode 60 something, I think, at the moment, too. Okay. So they're quite nice. up a new start. Um, obviously, drum up a bit of um, bad over there, boys. So um, check out our website and you'll be able to listen to their stuff, too. So, yeah. Danny boy, fitness stuff. Fitness. Okay. Let's talk about fitness. So, um, again, coming back to the point behind this, it's obviously well-being, health is quite a big craze at the moment. You obviously know that working and running your own gym. Okay, um, yes, true. And obviously, people are a little bit more conscious of how they look. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, want to look good, feel good. You know, obviously the mental aspect to that, obviously the physical aspect to that. Um, yeah, so try to tie in the beer aspect and that'll be my side and obviously for you I'm just going to be looking at fitness hints tips and all the rest of it so have you noticed uh, just to kind of shoot here start of the year people getting stuck into fitness again Uh you've seen a bit of a a pick up in the amount of people that are coming through your gym and doing stuff like that yes yes for sure well um, before I start um, as Mark introduced you Dan and Spiral. Um, I'm going to introduce the gym. Uh, we're based in Livingston. Um, we're a small gym and uh, we're community based. And it's all about getting fit, knowing what you eat, feeling healthy, socializing with good people around you, and just being in a community. So that's the main goal of the gym. And so far, it's been going really good. And I'm Dan. I'm the guy who runs the gym. So, um, as Mark was saying, uh, start of the year, yes, uh, we do have a few people, a few new people coming in and um, people with resolutions of wanting to change <laughs> yeah. themselves and wanting to, uh, wanting to be fitter and stronger and all of that. And that's really good, really, really good. Yeah. Um, but as you were talking to me earlier on about how you can combine drinking beer, oops, sorry, drinking beer <laughs> and staying fit at the same time yeah um i see there's a lot of people doing that but it's just depending on the amount of beer that you drink for sure for right. sure and that's where I, I think that's kind of the point for me anyway is that and we're talking about this before we start recording today but you know if you want the bodybuilders arnold schwarzenegger body then you've got to stop drinking beer simple you know you've got to be so um dedicated to everything uh, the micronutrients that are pretty much that are going to hit your body exactly that's true for me it's finding that balance between bodybuilding Uh yeah and getting away from the beer belly okay yeah so okay we want healthy people we want that and that's 
part of this. We want people to be healthy. We want people to be happy. Um, and two things that make me happy and healthy are working out <laughs> and, and drinking beer. And drinking beer. <laughs> For sure. Good. My man. Right now. Yeah, okay. my man. So um, that's it. So today's kind of work that I wanted to kind of look into, because uh, it's episode one, I don't want to scare people away with crazy fitness regimes exactly i don't want to scare people away by saying i'm going to take your favorite beer away and you're never allowed to drink it exactly yeah um one the word i'm looking at is routine okay yeah so you're talking about new year's resolutions it's kind of like that a resolution for me is obviously you're trying to change get yourself to another point you know you want to get sorted and You want to change doing that. whatever respect. Yeah. Whatever it is, yeah. So for me to do that, uh, for me, it's routine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you, you, me and you have had this conversation, I don't know how many times, about coming into the gym, working out, and all that kind of stuff. And you're like, Mark, just create a routine. Yeah. Make a make a program and stick to it. Consistency. Consistency. There you go. That's what I'm going for. Okay. Um, but yeah, so being a gym owner, personal trainer, all that kind of stuff, how would you sort of think, like, what's your, your point that you're trying to make with routine and okay. kind of creating that? Um, well, first of all, first of all, I'd like people to understand that um, fitness is different from what you see on Instagram, what you see on Facebook, all these bodybuilders, all yeah. these famous people on there with good bodies. I'm not saying they're not doing a good thing, they're doing a good thing. Um, but the way we look at it is that is what we look at as being fit, as being healthy. Yeah. And no, it's wrong. Being fit and being healthy is understanding what your body can do and working with it and yeah. improving yourself day to day, no matter what your goal is. So keeping that in mind, we all have things that we like, no matter what it is. Yeah, yeah. Beer, chocolate. Custard creams. <laughs> Custard creams, okay, yeah. I confess, you know. Uh, alcohol, anything, yeah, anything. Man. We yeah. all have things that we enjoy and we can't expect to de- deprive ourselves of that, you know. So... Like what we're talking right now about beer, there's lots of people out there who enjoy beer. You can't suddenly expect to go on a program where you're going to cut your beer out, you know? Yeah. So that's something that you enjoy. And why do you even want to cut yeah. it out? The thing is all about control, yeah. moderation, and sure. consistency. As yeah. in like drinking beer, you also have, you also have, have to have consistency. Yeah, no. As in like yeah. when you do it, how many times a week, you know, yeah. and keep it as a routine. Yeah. Uh, it maybe sounds silly, it maybe sounds simple, but things like that is what keep us sticking, is what keep humans going, is routine. Yeah. You know, like you said, consistency, routine. No matter what it is, no matter how easy, how simple it is, yeah. that's what keeps us going. Sure. So, as for drinking beer or as for gym routine, it's all about finding the sweet spot for you yeah. where you can start, take it easy, and then from that, it will just slowly build, you know. Yeah. Um, things don't just suddenly go like that and, you know, you have muscles and you, you can <laughs> suddenly start drinking beer. And, oh, you know, gosh. like yeah, I was saying to you just now, this is my third day off caffeine. Yeah. So I'm struggling. Well, I'm not yeah. really struggling, but yeah, you know what I mean? People go through phases and people try things, but it's all about consistency. Yeah. When you stick to it, no matter how easy or how infrequent it is initially. Yeah. But if you stick to it, you will change and you will see a change, you know? So as for working out routine, if you're really struggling with it, you know, go go once a week. Yeah. Go 10 minutes a day. Whatever that works for you, whatever that's easy for you to start off with. So that's why I see the problem is the problem with people. Yeah. They start off early of the year, um, or before they want to get married or before they go for a vacation, they get really strong into it the first few weeks and then they crash. Because they take too much on, they're motivated, and they forget about consistency, having a routine, yeah. and just being human beings. Yeah, I suppose when you jump in like that, and I'm, I've been quite bad for that over years, you get the fitness bug, you jump in with two feet, you're going four, five times a week, you know, two, three weeks, you feel, you feel great, you start seeing a bit of benefit, and then you miss a day because of life, because of work, because of childcare because you need a dog sitter whatever it is yeah and you miss a day and then you go oh well I've missed today so I can maybe maybe get away with maybe eating something or cheating a little bit because you know I'll make it up tomorrow and then then those bad habits become sort of your new routine of I didn't go yesterday but I ate something you know and it's trying to find that balance like you mentioned Um, so for me Obviously, the podcast for us is looking at 
new beers and things. So what we're actually going to be doing is looking at the locality beers, um, different ways that you can enjoy tasty craft beer without it maybe having the same effects as your normal sort of brew that you're kind of used to. Okay. So looking into that too. A healthy option. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, the part of that is going to be looking at even like snacks that we'll have, you know, when you're you're sitting in with the boys on a Friday, Saturday night, you're watching the football, a couple of beers, what happens? Kebab gets snacks, ordered. Snacks, very true. Pizza, very snacks. True. Um, so that'll be something, and we're not going to touch on it like fully this episode, but one of the next couple of episodes we'll be going to looking at how can we have healthier snacks like that are still one that are tasty, that are still going to crave. Yes. They're going to like satisfy those cravings uh-huh. when it comes to drinking beer, uh-huh. but that are not going to give you that, you know, the the hangover effect. And what I mean by that is the fact. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. The the fact that. You're not going to then say, oh, well, I ate rubbish last night. I'm feeling quite bloated. I'm feeling tired. I'm not going to work out, you know, and we'll, we'll build that up. Okay, right. Well, I'm really excited for the next episode because I've got a lot to say about, <laughs> nice. about uh, snacking and cool, calories and all of that. Um, but like I said, I'll save it. We'll save it for the next episode. Yeah, man. And sure. right now we'll still focus on uh, <laughs> routine and consistency. Yeah. Consistency and what's the struggle. Yeah. Um, so for you, Mark, what do you think? As a beer drinker, as someone that enjoys beer, yeah. um, what is the struggle? You know, what, 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 what is the hardest thing for you to overcome? And why, you know, why... This is just, I'm, I'm asking you because yeah. you're in front of me, but it's a general question for everybody out there. Um, why do you think it's hard for you to change? What's the biggest, what's the biggest problem? Oh, see, for me, in asking this um, to public in general, it's <clears throat> maybe a wee bit different because obviously I, I do enjoy working out. So getting to and from the gym is usually n- not as much of a, a beer issue for me. It's more of a, a timing issue or a work issue or whatever it is. Um, there's still issues that I need to break down and create my routine about. However, um, I don't always think it's as much of a beer. If I have a heavy, heavy session like everybody else, you're probably not going to go, I'm going to hit the 8, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. spin class in the morning, <laughs> you know, when you've been out on the scoop the exactly. day before. Exactly. Um, but you know what it's like, you know, drinking anything and not just beer, I suppose, you know, you have the after effects of it, um, you know, depending on how much you drink. And whether you don't ha- you have a hangover or not, your body is still going through that sort of depression as such when you're coming off alcohol. Yeah, okay. so you can have two or three beers. And I'm not telling. I'm, I'm trying not to put a bad taint on this too much because it's kind of going against our beer podcast. <laughs> but you, you, your body is that, and it's so that people are obviously aware that you know. Alcohol is a depressive sort of drug and all that kind of thing. So, but your body is having to go through that and it, on the back end. Whether you have two beers or you have twenty five beers, right? You may have a different level of hangover. Yeah. I'm doing that in air quotes, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can see the air quotes, guys. <laughs> you know, so and that, and that usually deters people from working out. I know yeah. that's one thing for me. If I have a couple of beers and I'm feeling a bit lethargic, I might think, you know, what? I'm just going to lie in my bed today. I'm going to have a longer lie. I might try and do something later. I might try and do something later. And that's usually how it comes around that I end up not doing something that day. For me, anyway. Um, but I'm not. I'm a social drinker. Uh, and I'll say that quite honestly. You know, I enjoy um, guys that listen, or girls that listen for that matter too. You know that myself, Gav, Scott tend to have a beer or two when we're doing a podcast because we like to share local different beers and what we're drinking and what we're trying. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a social drink. Maybe have a drink or two when it comes to the weekend. But I'm not like a proper crazy every night of the week I need to have a drink sort of kind of guy. And I can go easily a week or two, Mrs. Might beg to differ on that, yeah. that one, <laughs> uh, without having a drink. Um, but at the same time, you know, this podcast is created as an opportunity to try and speak to people who are making some amazing beers and it's rude not to drink them, <laughs> in my opinion, in that yeah. way. But, um, well, it is called the Beer Fridge Podcast. Yeah. It is a Beer Fridge Podcast, yeah, for sure. And that's what it's, and that's what we're um, all about. So, <clears throat> to you, 
simple routine changes that anybody that's listening right now can make. And it can be something as simple as, you know, create a wee, like do a workout once a week. It could be drink more water. There's actually a campaign that's going on just now about um, like bars in the US that are doing a, um, like a drink water aspect. So it's stay hydrated. You know, okay. so have a have a pint, have a drink, but then have water yeah. to back it up. Yes. Yeah, and I, I don't know how many people, if you're in a pub all day or having a couple of, uh, like a couple of pints, are going to like stick to that. But just the notion that that's a, um, sort of a promotion. That's maybe another right word, but it's a campaign that you know let's get people drinking water. So, what are the things that you would maybe recommend to us, beer drinkers and people that? And I, I again what. It needs to be quite generic. We will get a little bit more specific as these podcasts grow. Um, And when we hear from listeners or anybody like that, if you want any advice um, from either myself or preferably Dan, then get in touch and we're more than happy to jump. um, Well, uh, if we would say advice for people who like to drink beer um, on a fitness sort of perspective. On a health sort of perspective... um, uh, (laughs) (laughs) I know. It's it's all about moderation, whatever it is, you know. Yeah, so, in a health sort of, sort of perspective, even sugar or whatever else can really, really cause you damage. So, it's all about sure. moderation. Uh, but on the fitness side of it, um, I, we have quite a few people in in the gym, in my gym, that likes to drink alcohol and enjoy yeah. it, yeah. and yeah. it's thing that they do, and things that they do, and they've been doing it for years. So, mm-hmm. um, I respect that, and it's what they want to do. Yeah. They understand what happens to them. But what I can give you advice uh, to people um, that I've seen and experienced from my members or from my clients is just get out there and do it do it man and just work out even if it's once a week or twice a week just work out yeah if you like drinking forget about trying to stop drinking just get working out first Come you on. know yeah if you're gonna go like oh I need to stop drinking first and then I can work out if this then no use you know if yeah. it's if, if I drink and I work out it's no use it's the same thing it's all it's all just bullshit yeah <laughs> work out start getting yourself active and yeah. then slowly slow it down or if you want to stop stop you know you don't have to stop if you enjoy it yeah. just slow it down and control it your yeah. alcohol intake your beer intake you know yeah. um, and that's how it is simple. it's as simple as that it's just yeah. get started Come on. You know, stop giving yourself too many reasons that you can't start yeah. there, there are personal trainers out there there's people who know who can guide you how to do it even though you're injured you're hurt you know you can do it yeah and I like I, I, and I, I, I really like that kind of message to be fair that it is as simple as just and it and I'm not saying, and obviously Dan, I'm reading between the lines here a little bit, but you're not saying, you know, you need to go and get a full, like to begin with, like full personal training session and you're lifting weights, you're going kind of, kind of bananas and lifting that. Just you know, go walking. Go walking. Go exactly. a 30 minute walk around your, around your block or something, you know, yeah. that, that, that's enough. Yeah. Some general exercises in, the, in your house, <clears throat> you know, walk up and down the stairs rather than taking the lift at your exactly. work. Exactly. Yeah. These are the things um, that are so key and these are these are the what I mean by routine changes that we want to be trying and instill in the, in the listeners and in ourselves I suppose too and that's the kind of the whole point we've got within the podcast group we've got two weddings this year yeah. okay so, congratulations thank you very much uh, myself and Gavin um, so we know that, that and this is partly our thing too it's about creating routine it's for us that we can then adopt uh, and we will be with your help hopefully we will be looking at you know putting little programs together little home circuits that we can be doing we might even open it up to some challenges to get people like a bit more competitive juices flowing yeah it's all going to be depending on what people the listeners want but these are the sort of things that we're kind of going to look at to try and you know, get a little bit more active. Okay. Look into um, being um, taking our well-being to the next level, but still allowing us good peer opportunities um, okay. at the same time. So for <clears throat> for you, is the activity the key aspect, or is it nutrition? And now I know the real answer to that is both. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you got your answer already. I know. I know. <laughs> But we're taking baby steps today. We're taking okay, baby, baby steps. steps. Yeah, what do you want to go for first? Is that the answer? Is that the question? Yeah, so thinking about nutrition, small changes that people can make then. So we've spoke about activity. 
as a routine. Okay. So as a, a small routine change that we can make is just being a little bit more active. Yeah. Moving, walking up and down stairs, all that kind of stuff that we, you just spoke about. Yeah. So let's flip it then. So small changes that people can make. Nutritionally. Nutritionally. Yeah. Nutritionally, <clears throat> again, we're talking to a broad... Um, yeah, broad audience. Audience out here. Yeah. So there's going to be people who have different sort of diets. For sure. The best example, the best uh, advice I can give for people who are starting up, who are beginners, is cut out your sugar intake. Yeah. I don't say cut to zero. Mm -hmm. If you are the type of person that likes a lot of sugar, drinks a lot of sugar, let's say, example, you drink like three big bottles of Coca-Cola a day, start with maybe drink one and a half. Yeah. And then next week one, and then the following week half, and then the following week none, you know? Yeah. Uh, or even just cut it until the limit that you do want to you want to you want to lower it down to. So mm -hmm. you can still have your coke if you enjoy it. You can still have a can every week if you enjoy it. You know. Yeah. Um, so sugar, cool. whatever it is that you can cut it down from your in your tea or in your food. Um, and if you're not the type of person that likes to take of likes to take a lot of sugar, um, the advice I can give you is try to go as natural as possible. So if you're not, if you're the type of person that likes to like eat lots of crisps and stuff like that mm -hmm. um, try to go as natural as possible and not highly processed so substitute it to salted nuts mm -hmm. or you know rice cakes things things that are healthier yeah. options for them okay, cool, yeah. uh, and I would say things that are natural yeah. raw from the ground you know raw from the ground. so yeah. No sugar and as natural as possible. And cool. it's like you said, baby steps. Baby Don't steps. expect to change everything. Yeah. You know, maybe change your snacks first or change your breakfast or just dinner. Yeah. Uh, whatever you can work with first. Yeah, and I think that the baby steps and the routine, they were like two phrases that I had kind of scribbled down today. Because uh, I think that's important that we're not going no holes bar. And we've kind of came around that a few times by, you know, if you change everything, yeah, you might see... Um, uh, the positive sort of effect over two, three weeks. Yeah, but when it comes to week four, week six, week nine, you're going to be back on your old routine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to try and create habits, good habits. Um, and the thing is, and, and you're, you'll be able to attest this more than me, I suppose, is that like making good food and healthy food is it, it's satisfying in a way yeah and people go I don't have the time and all that kind of stuff yeah. you hear that a lot but um, so preparation mm -hmm. that could be your first routine change mm -hmm. preparation um, and allowing people to then say but eat healthier but healthier doesn't mean it doesn't have to taste good and I, that's the kind of the point that I'm going with there that you know healthy food is it can Tastes be really amazing. really tasty yeah. you know think outside the box a little bit look online I, I use uh, the I don't know if you use the app it's a uh, flipboard or something it's called um, flipboard yeah I've seen it uh, when I swipe to the left yeah hey <laughs> <laughs> well whoa, when you swipe to the left I don't know it's, uh, that's maybe a different kind of podcast um, <laughs> but the um what we're looking at is um, like Flipboard have got tons of and you can you can use anything Google it I suppose as the easiest way but really, really good sort of recipes um, for you know sprinkling seasoning over chicken on pork whatever it is that you like to eat um, and just kind of thinking outside the box yeah uh, we've kind of thrown quite a lot at people already um you know, we've talked about routine changes. We've we've cutting their sugar intake down. We've we've told people <laughs> they need to go out and walk more. Yeah. Um, and I've told people that we're going to take a like look at less calorie beers. Uh, and I, again, I don't want to scare people off, but you know, making change and changes are scary to people. And I don't want to turn this into like a like a shrink session here. And yeah. We're not therapists or anything like that at all. It's more good advice. Uh, and sort of moving it uh, forward in that way but any simple exercises there we go let's get back to Dan and Spiral before we kind of finish up today um, any exercises that people nice and simple and it, like, that people can do while they're at their work when they're listening to this podcast maybe you know when you're out doing your walk listening to the podcast that's what we could 
Okay, um, well, when you're out on your walk doing listening to the podcast, you're already exercising, so <laughs> I sure, don't have to worry so much about that. But if you're at work or if you're at home, let's face it, um, you're not going to suddenly stand up and squat. Yeah. You know, you're not going to suddenly stand up and do press ups. If you want to, go ahead. You know, it's good. You know, do some squats, do some press ups. So be it. Yeah. I do it at home. I do it while watching Netflix. I'll do it while cooking. Um, it's just a habit right now. Just doing like <laughs> two, three squats in between. And, you know, it's, yeah. it's good for the body. It works the joints. It works the joints and everything. Um, but what I'll say to people, um, a simple routine what them to do for, for what them for them to do when they are listening and just lazing around is just to move a little bit more. Yeah, you know, yeah. don't Stretching. be so lazy. Yeah, stretch a bit more. Stretching. Don't yeah. don't you know don't don't just sit in one place for a long time because <clears throat> we are meant to move. We yeah. have lots of joints and we're meant to move. So. If you can just stand up, walk, go to the toilet, raise your arms up, do a few air shoulder presses, you know, move your arms, yeah. and swing, swing your legs around, you know, that's enough. That's yeah. enough for you to keep yourself moving and for yeah. you to keep yourself active. And if you're not, if you know that you are the type of person that is already active, if you want to increase your activity, like I said, just do some squats, do some planks. Yeah. You know, just... Yeah, and then and try and increase it week, week on week. Or, exactly. Yeah, let it burn. Let it burn. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you with those uh, walls. But if you want to know, <laughs> if you want to know more like specific movements and what to do, um, as much as I would love to explain on the podcast, it would be very um, hazy, I would say, for the general and for you also yeah, to understand sure. it. So you know, coming to Spiral would be, would be the best way to, for you to understand it. Cool. Or even nowadays, you can just YouTube or Google it. You know, everything yeah. is on. Google. You can ask Google anything. You can ask Google. You can buy Google from anything from Google nowadays. You know, yeah, I, I understood that I could buy lemongrass from Google last week. Oh, wow. So, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, that's a, that actually kind of leads me into where I was going to kind of finish up there. So, um, obviously, Dan um, obviously runs, um, manages, whatever you want to call, uh, Spiral Health and Fitness. Best place to get in touch with Dan is via his Facebook page. Yeah, so if yes. you just uh, type in Spiral Health and Fitness. Spiral Fitness. Spiral Fitness, excuse me. Yeah. And, and you'll see a heart with blue and red stripes around it. Cool. Yeah, a yeah. very nice heart with spiral stripes around it. Is that the right, right way to describe it? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. it's like a heart and yeah. spiral. Spiral Fitness. Spiral Fitness, cool. Um, it would be awesome if anyone that does, if you manage to listen this far on the first fitness podcast, and thank you, that you know that's uh, it's a big step for us. It's a, it's a, it's a new adventure for myself and for Dan with Inspiral. We're yeah. we're opening it up to different trainers, nutritionists, anybody that wants to speak about anything fitness related, and it can be a mental aspect too. Exactly. Um, I know uh, Dan's one colleague Ed, who is a close friend of. As both, um, I would love to uh, shoot the shit as I keep saying with Ed on some spirituality stuff. Oh yeah, get yeah. a lot from him. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, you know. So it's good man to talk to. Yeah, and that's it. And I think for for us, it's just um, it's just asking the question about fitness um, and then tying it in with us beer drinkers uh, and then tying how can we reduce one creating a little bit of movement on the other sides um, and then taking it uh, taking it that way too. Uh, Dan's got his uh, website and everything as well, haven't you? It's um, spiralfitness.co.uk. Uh, he is also on Instagram. You'll see him doing some funky press-ups and all that kind of stuff. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be like, um, we'll be like to uh, video Dan doing weird and wonderful things in the gym. That sounds a wee bit wrong, actually. <laughs> that, but, uh, well, you never know what happens at night. Yeah, that's Oops, it. Sorry, it's a podcast. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We don't care on the podcast. It's cool. Um, for me um, and for from us, obviously from the Beer Fridge Network, uh, it's really exciting times. We're obviously starting to expand. So if you are personal trainer if you are a blogger if you are in the fitness industry at all please give beer fridge <laughs> fitness a buzz for sure and that's it you know we want to speak to people in that sense um even if you're uh even if you're a brewer and that and that's one thing that we're going to be speaking about on our actual on the on the i was going to say the main podcast but on the actual beer fridge podcast uh we're going to be speaking about the fitness aspect of it but if you are a brewer or anyone that's making beer, you know, get in touch. Tell us what what you're trying to do to reduce calorie intake, or if you are looking at healthy options or healthier 
options uh, from the beer. So, as always, uh, hook us up on Instagram, Beer Fridge Podcast, uh, on Facebook, uh, Beer Fridge Podcast again, uh, Twitter, where our Beer Fridge Pod, and our YouTube channel is the Beer Fridge Podcast to uh, websites, beerfridgenetwork.com, uh, where that basically ties everything that we're doing in from the podcasts to the fitness to uh, even just the uh, the different uh, partners that we're now going to be sort of working with moving forward. So, you, go. you got anything else you want to shout out, Danny Boy? Uh, nothing. Thank you very much for listening, guys. It was really good to be a part of uh, Beer Fridge Fitness for the first episode. Yeah. And hopefully I'll still be with you guys <laughs> along the way. Yeah, man, definitely, for sure. But uh, thank you, everyone, for listening, as always. And I suppose we will catch you next time. Okay, bye, guys. Take See care. Ya. Bye.